This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, I'm going to have a Parsha Yisroi, the Parsha of Matan Torah, Asar Sadebrois. And of course, one of the Asar Sadebrois is the midst of Shabbos. And in the Debrois Rishonois, it says, Zachar as Yom HaShabbos Lekadashai. Well, I'm sure we're all familiar with the Gemara Sachim. And we're, all, we're so familiar with it, I didn't even bring a few, the last few words. I figure you know by heart. It says, Tan Rabbanon, Zachar Siyam HaShel Zekadshe, Zachreyu? Alayayin, very good. So those two words didn't make it on the sheet, but that's what the Gemara says. <laughs> remember the day of Sabbath to sanctify it. The Gemara Darshans, remember it on wine. This is a Makar for Kiddush. Kiddush on Shabbos is Dairaisa. Now, of course, the Gemara says that's Friday night. Shabbos day is only Durabanon. Um, that's what's called Kiddusha Rabbah. Kiddusha Rabbah is Lashon Sagi Nahar, meaning the great Kiddush, but it's really very minor. But the Iker Kiddush is Friday night, and it actually has Nafgaminas Lahalacha. One of them is how much wine you have to drink. Because we know Rav Moshe's Ravias for Dairaisa is much bigger than a Drabanon. So you have to drink Rav Ravias. So let's say Dairaisa is 4.4 ounces or so. So you'd have to drink uh, 2. Uh, Three ounces, but for the Rabbanans it's 3.3 ounces, you only have to drink 1.7, fine. But Kiddush, Friday night, is Dairai, so Zohar, Siyam HaShav, Zekachai. Comes the Chida, in the Sefer Avodas HaKodesh, and we know that Kiddush, Friday night, has two parts. One part is the Bracha, Baruch HaTah Hashem L'Kenech HaElam, Asher, Kiddush Anu, Memetz Waisav, Virat Savanu, and... That part has about 35 words. And then before that, you say Vayichulu. Even though you've already said Vayichulu after Shema Nesrei, even though you've already said Vayichulu in Shema Nesrei, so it comes out you're saying Vayichulu three times, and there are reasons for that. But the Chidah says as follows. You should have a lot of Kavana during Kiddush. And Vihar Her You should contemplate repentance. Ki amiras vayichulu, because the recitation of vayichulu lahoid is testimony ki Hashem bara shemayim v'aretz that God created heaven and earth v'nach v'shabes and rested on Shabbos. So what are you doing? You're bearing testimony. But there's a problem because a rasha is pasuleidos. So how could you testify that God created the world if we have averos on our cheshbon? And certain Averos render a person a Rasha. So our whole testimony would be rendered invalid. So what do you do? Similar to if somebody is given a Kibo to be an Eid at a Kedushin, sometimes the Masada the Kedushin says, Be Mahara B'tshuva. So you could tell them, well, it's your, not your business. You be Mahara B'tshuva. You know? <laughs> but, but, uh, but he's right. What? You be always Eid. But um, the thing is, Masada Kedushin is not a real Kibo. Because you know, he's not doing anything. He's not making the marriage. The Edim are making the marriage. So they really, sh- they really do need to be Mahar Bachuva. So, so too. When I asked him to be an Edim at uh, one of my daughters' wedding, he says, Oh, that's not going to happen. He says, I will have to mean, say, So I have to go to the mikvah before I go. No, that ain't going to help him. To if he's a Russia, the mikvah ain't going to help him. <laughs> no, he needs a lot more than the mikvah. <laughs> so, but anyway, Kiamiras <laughs> Vayechulu. The recitation by Chula Hod, Ki Hashem Baruch Shemaretz, V'nam Shavetz, V'rosh Apostol Eidos. Al-Kein Yehara B'Tshuva, therefore he should contemplate doing Tshuva, Sheyia Roi La'idos. This way, you are fit to bear a testimony. Very interesting. That is very interesting. Now, the problem here is, well, let's try to introduce it in the following way. Okay, so you're saying testimony. What are you saying testimony that? That God created the world. Now the tour in Arachayim, Simon Reish Samaches, brings down a halacha, v'yeshoimrim, shano'agu loimer oisai b'koram. The minog is to say v'yichulu out loud, uma umad, and standing. Now this is talking about v'yichulu and shol. You ever notice the minog is to say it standing. For what? Misham Shu Eidos Laha Kadosh Baruch Hu Amasa Bereshus Uchsev and the pasuk says Ve'omdu Beis Hoanoshim Ve'darshinon Elu Ha'edim Shatzvichan Lahayet Be'yachad They have to testify together Ume Umad 
and standing. What about Shmona Esrei? Is that Aegis too? Even though he's saying it's silent? No. Yeah, that Shmona Esrei is silent. No, it's not. Comes Toysvist. There's a Toysvist in the beginning of Sefer Bereshis, Parak Beis, Pasuk Aleph. And Toysvist says, Vayichulu. Minayin shanu oimr no yisai ba'amida. How do we know we say it standing? Lefi shahu edos ha'kadosh baruch hu shabara oilamai. B'sheisha yamim. Ve'edos ma'umad. D'chsev amdu shnei ha'anashim. And we find in Masech the Shabbos. Fine. Well, we'll see that soon. So certainly the Vayichulu that you're saying at the end of davening is edos. And that's why we say it's standing. But the question is, Let's try to get some halachas about Eidos. <coughs> what would the halacha be about Vayichul after davening? Why does everybody say it together? Why are they together? Well, so you only need two people. So why, do you, why does everyone say it together? So, so just turn to your friend. What's the Indian of saying it Sibor? So the Taz writes something very interesting. Because the, the Taz, the Torah ended off the Torah say you say it together. You say it together? Well, what if I dive in a long Shemana Esrei and I'm left alone and I have nobody to say it with? So it's, uh, the Torah implies then you don't say it. So the Taz says um, that the Siyem HaTor the You could The Torah says you could say it by yourself. Ah, but says the Taz, but if you're trying to say Eidos, and you need more than one person to say Eidos, says the Taz that if you're davening without a minion, you do not repeat Vayichulu. An individual cannot say Eidos. And you need a whole, it's not enough to have two people, you need a minion. You need a minion to say Vayichulu. Why? Why? Which is 10. So we'll have to see. Why would you need a minion? Now the bottom line is the Mishnah Paskins, Friday night, you have to dive into Shmoneh very quickly. To finish, to say it with the whole Tzibor. No, not enough. The many people do. I'm telling you what you should do. <laughs> the Bir Halacha Paskins. It's not it's not it's Gornish. I'm, I didn't say it's Gornish. I'm telling you what you should do. That the Bir Halacha Paskins, that you should try to damage from an to finish with the Tzibor, to say it with a minion. Wow. However, and it says the Taz, and what if a Yachid wants to say it? He could say it, but he should realize he's not doing anything. He, all he's doing is Kakari Batara, just saying Psukha Manatara. Actually, it says, well, double long, double long, and then he gets somewhere next to them to say by Kulu together. I'm on Wednesday we give a share anecdotal evidence <laughs> in the in, in the I'm telling you the halacha the 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 Taz says v'mirtze yachid la'imra if an individual wants to say it la'yiskavin l'shem edos he should not be mechavin for edos ella kakari b'tayra so one thing we see in the Taz is it sounds like from the Taz that you could say it with another person else edos but didn't it sound like you should say it with ten people right. why would that be. Eidos doesn't need ten people. An Eidos can, right? Yeah, but you don't need an Eidos, you need Eidos. So the Prima Gaudum says, from this Taz you see, that he holds that it's somewhat of a Dover Shavik Dusha and Ein Dover Shavik Dusha, Pachas Mayasara, that you need a minion to say it. Wow. The Taz holds you need a minion to say Vayichulu. The Lachain Belel Shabbos says the Prima Gaudum, Yehader Achar Minion. You should try to get a minion. Gam Mitam Vayichulu Shetzach Vasara Eidos HaKadosh Baruch my venik dashti besoich vene Yisrael. Ain davar shavu. It's amazing halacha. Say what? I never. We don't pass like this. We do. The Mishnah Brura brings it down. The Mishnah Brura brings it down. Mishnah Brura says, look at number eight. The Mishnah Brura says, "Umad lefisha bezel anu meidin la kachar masa brachos v'din eidim amida k'dosiv alnus nashem v'toiv loimar oisa biyachad betzibur de eido shleima biyinon la kachar vak ah." And if you can't get a minion, ve'al kaponim yebeshnayim. At the very least, too. He uses the tone of the tov law. The tov, that's not a loch. The tov is different. It's the tov law. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's qualifying. It's good. In other words, the best thing, right, correct. Not, not an absolute chip. But if you look in the Bir Halacha, the Bir Halacha writes that you should try to be Mekayim this. He says um, you should uh, make sure to daven quick to be able to finish with the rest of the tzibor, to be able to say it with a minion. 
That's what the Be'er Lacha says. Um, so you know, yeah, you're saying, yeah, yeah, I'm making this up, so I'll read it to you, you know. Yeshua <laughs> <laughs> sure waits for you, Rabbi? It better. <laughs> um... I'm a mission brush of Kosam, the Hakiri Hadar is a lama biachad. Oit Shamlachet Tavasar, Mitamza, Mispalo, Balachash, Yemaher, Lasayim, Tvilasa, Kadesh, Yomer, Vahu, Imhakahal. Which we see, where is it? Which you see? No, this much you can trust me, no. Trust me, tell me where it is. For everybody, sorry. It's, um, for everyone out there, it's Simon Ray Samaches. It's, uh, Bir halacha is Zion at the end, and in the new prince they made it bold. Hamasal balachash yemaher. Look, some people are not able to; they can't daven fast. But you should try to find. So here, here's the question. Oh, yeah, bar Hashem. So the question is that uh, here the the chida says. That you should be mahar b'tshuva by kiddush. Why? Because how could you say testimony if a person's a rasha? Therefore, you do tshuva before you give the testimony. But here we have this taz that even in shul you should you need a minion, and if you don't have a minion, at very least two people. And if you want to say it without two people, you should realize you're not doing anything just kikari b'tayra. So then, that's not like the chida. The chida says that you're saying edus and kiddush. What do you mean? What kind of edus? You need two people, at least. There's no halacha. Is there halacha you need a minion for Kiddush? Or you need two people for Kiddush? Yeah. There's no such halacha. Well, maybe the Chidah is talking about if you didn't daven the Myra, then by a book. So here the Chidah is telling you, Kiddush, the Chidah is giving you up. advice. He's saying you should be Mahar B'tshuva. Who's he talking to? A guy who doesn't daven with a minion. But everybody else doesn't have to. He just says, you know, he's just giving general recommendation. By the way, the Prima Godim says, according to this, let's take a poll. Who here sits through the whole Kiddush? No, I thought your father was from Radin. Yeah, no. But, but he stood? stood the whole Kiddush. Yeah? Anyone here sit at all during Kiddush? Anybody who sit? Stand, stand for the first part. For the no, for the Kiddush part. Sit. Oh, everyone here Hasidish. What's going on over here? <laughs> <laughs> the halal says you sit by Kiddush. How many people sit Kiddush? <laughs> the Litvak. What? What is the Litvak? The Ramah says you sit by Kiddush. But everybody has Hasidish of blood nowadays. Everybody stand. Ah. So the, the Prima Godim says, what kind of edus is it by yourself? And there he says, I have no idea why people are standing by Vayichulu. I stand for Vayichulu, and I sit for Kiddush. That's what they do in the yeshivas. But, um, Apida Rizal you stand. Apida Rizal you stand. But Avada, you know that Yom Tif, of course you have to sit. Even, uh, even those who follow the Arizal, you have to sit for Yom Tif. You know that. By night also. Ramosha says, I'm not going to get involved in that people can get angry, people can get upset. People are very attached to what they do by Kiddush. What? Rebbe, if you stand for the for Yechulu and then you sit for the second part, is it a little bit of a bizarre for the second part that you stand It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know why it's beautiful? It's beautiful to follow the Halacha. It's also beautiful to follow your father's father's minor. So what we did was, we made our father switch, we made our grandfather switch. (laughs) (laughs) But not everybody could do that. Um, But we'll talk about it at a different time. Anyway, whatever you do, it's it's beautiful, it's all good. But um, uh, based on what we're learning, that the reason to stand by for Vayichul is you're giving Eidos, so the Prima Gadim asks in the Mishpat Saizov, why in the world would you stand for Vayichulu by Kiddush? <coughs> what kind of Eidus is that? Without a minion, without two people? Wh- wh- why would you stand? Okay, so that's a big question. Here the Chida implies that for Kiddush you should... Um, for Kiddush you should <coughs> be Mahar B'tshuva because you can't give Eidus if you're Russia. What kind of Eidus are you saying? So interesting, the Gemara says like this. Amar Rava, Vitem Rav Shuman Levi, Afilu Yachid Hamisbal of Erev Shabbos, Sarah Loy Marvaychulu. Even an individual who davens Erev Shabbos needs to say Vaychulu. Dama Rav Hamnuna. Okay, so here the Gemara is saying that if you daven Erev Shabbos, even by yourself, you need to say Vaychulu. Dama Rav Hamnuna, Kal Hamisbal of Erev Shabbos. So Amar Vaychulu, Mala Olav Akasav, Kilo Nase, Shutuf Lahakadosh Baruchu. The Masa, Bereshis, Shenemar, 
Vayichulu al tikri vayichulu ela vayichala. So it's unclear which vayichulu he's talking about. But he says even if you daven on your own, you need to say vayichulu. Why? Because if you say vayichulu, you become a partner with God. So, so what's he talking about? You need to say vayichulu. How do you become a partner with God? Imagine a guy he builds a skyscraper. And you, afterwards, you say some kind of uh, little jingle, and you say, we're partners now. You say, oh, shkach, you know, I really appreciate your partnership. How do you become, here God created the world, and you said a three-second thing, and you became God's partner? How, you know, how do you, how do you get that, how do you work that out? Right? What? By keeping Shabbos, by not doing the But it says, all you need to do is say vayichulu. You know, you could work that out. That some guy he does all the work, and you say a jingle, and you become his partner. You got something going. What? Okay, whatever level. So the Marshal says like this. It's not when God created the world. It also wasn't a big deal. Bedvar Hashem. So all he did was also he said, you know, All God said was a few words. So says the Marshal like this. When you say Vayichulu, you're Mayed on my. Oh, you're Mayed. You're testifying. So, Harei Nasa Shut of my Kalish Barchu. Why? He built the Edu. So, without your testimony, Lo Yavada Asiyasa, nobody would know that he made it. Ukemaisha Asiyo Lo Yahoya Rak Bemaimer. Just like his activity was only with speech. Like the Pasuk says, Vidvar Hashem Shemaim Nasu. Kain Edu Soi Bemaimer. Your Edu is also Bemaimer. So, you become his partner. Why? Because even an individual can't testify by himself. Now, normally, the edus of one individual is not worth anything. <laughs> but over here, you say, Vayichulu, because you're Amira, and God's Amira, they join together, so you become partners. So one thing we see from the Marsha is that even if you say it by yourself, you're still saying edus. Right? So, according to the Marsha, despite the fact that all you, you're a loner in your apartment and nobody's with you, nevertheless, you are reciting testimony contrary to the Taz. The Taz says, no, in the shul, you better say it with somebody else, and if you want to say it by yourself, you're only saying it Kakari Bataira. The Marsha learns there is a concept of Eidos all by yourself. So that sort of defends the Chida. That means the Marsha is explaining an approach how you could be saying Eidos even though you're by yourself. The, the Magen Avram says, As a, a, a very interesting thing. And that is, so, uh, so I'll ask you a question. What kind of edus is it by yourself? Saying, where do you get this thing you need two people to say edus? You always need two edim? We need it. We learn out, davar, davar, me, mamon. Ma- monetary law needs two witnesses. Arayos need two witnesses. Eid echa, neman, bisurim. For Isser, all you need is one witness. When you are testifying that at Shabbos, it's to create an Isser Malacha. So, Legabe Isser, one witness is good enough. Also, and why do you need a minion according to some? Well, look at the Primagadam. The Primagadam in the Isha Avram says, Um, Umad, Ayin Magan Avram, Uva El Yorabba. For Eide Nefashais, could be you do need two witnesses at the same time. And this is like Eide Nefashais, because someone who desecrates the Shabbos is Chayiv Misa. So there are elements of Shabbos where are just Isser. In other words, Isser Malacha is just Isser Ba'alma. But in terms of the punishments of Shabbos, it's Dinei Nefashos. So there is some discussion here which allows for the possibility of Eidos even by, by yourself. It's interesting, the Sefer uh, 
Yisoyed Vesharash Havoida, he uh, brings down what, uh, which would, would greatly uh, assist us that there is a concept of testimony given by Kiddush as well. He says, Achai v'reyai, my brothers and my friends, haloy teidu v'tavinu. You should understand, moistois v'ikr hatikon ba'ilamas ha'yoynam. The great rectification that occurs, the amiras parashas v'aychulu gam b'kiddush. When you say v'aychulu in Kiddush as well, it's hudafko she'ichavin ba'amirasa, it's only if you have in mind when you say it, Lahoid Eidus Al Achdus Al Kusa Yisbar Shemai, to testify in God's unity, the Yisala Zichroi Load, the Uvda Debereshus, to testify and to remember the creation of the world. Bishatzach Lahoid Eidazu, and you should testify, Bishimcha Uve Kavana Atsuma. Says the Yisoy Bishar Shavoida, like the Zohar implies, he quotes the Zohar here in Parshas Vayakel. He says, Boi barnash lemishad sahadu sada. A person needs to testify this testimony, Bechedva with joy, Bereusa deliba with the desire of the heart, La asada kamimare, to testify before the Creator. Vedayik vinafish bolshone ha kadash vayim hazor ba amroi. And the Zohar goes out of his way to explain how much kavana you need to have. But the language of the Zohar is that when you say Kiddush Friday night, you are having in mind that you're testifying that God created heaven and earth. Meaning exactly what the Chida assumed. That the Chida, the Chida recommends that when a person say Kiddush Friday night, they're Mahar Bachuva. So we ask, but the Ta says that uh, in Shul, you don't say it by yourself. And if you want to say it, it's only Kakara Batayra. Well, Apparently, the Zayar disagrees, and the Zayar says, when you are testifying, when you are saying Kiddush, you are testifying that God created heaven and earth. Interesting! The, what the, what the Shita of the Rambam, about whether you stand for Vayichulu, the Rambam doesn't say his opinion in the Yad HaChazaka, but the Rishonim quote, in the Sefer Hamanig of Rabbi Avram ben Nosan Hayarchi, the Ravan, he says, V'zehu shenoagu lo'imrei me'umad We say, v'aychulu standing l'fishu edus Uchsiv yamdu shnei ha'anashem ha'shel lahem Harei l'fnei Hashem Kach kibalti b'tzarfes V'shamati and I heard Ki harav Moshe ha'oymer Shetzorach l'ayim me'umad kishadam mekadesh This is the ever the Moshe is the Rambam so here we have evidence that the Rambam stood for Vayichulu. Why? Because of Eidos. What do you mean Eidos? But the Taz says you need, a, you need a, two people for Eidos. Apparently the Rambam, who often says halachas, even though the Rambam did not see the Zayar, but he says halachas that are very much in sync with the Zayar. There are a number of places where he does that. The Rambam is saying that Kiddush Friday night is an Eidos, and therefore you stand for Vayichulu. And the Avudraham quotes this. And the Avudraham asks, why in the world would he have to stand for Vayichulu? You need to aid him for... Uh, you need to aid him to say Edos. So therefore the Avudraham says you don't have to stand. But according to what we're learning... Well, what, what do you say? One aid for Isser? Over Isser? Well, no, it's not Lachar, it's not Isser. But according to what we're learning, that there is a gather of Edos even in Kiddush. So since there's a gather of Edos even in Kiddush, that's why the Rambam would say you should stand for Vayichul. So what do you do with the Taz? So the Taz argues on why would the Taz then say that if you daven in a long Shemana Esrei you don't say Vayichul. And if you do you only say it Kakari Batayra. Doesn't that, isn't that right, straight up against you don't say it as the Rambam? Yeah, because you would say it's not Eikos. Yeah, but the, the Rambam says it is. So you can't argue on that. How does the Taz argue on the Rambam? How does the Taz argue on the Zayar? So apparently the Sefer Shvile Pinchas tries to uh, defend the Taz, that the Taz, all the Taz means is as follows. In the Beis HaKnesses, the way they were Masaki in Mayichulu, is there they were Masaki and you need a full-fledged Eidos of two. And if you don't have a full-fledged Eidos of two, that's the only type of Eidos you're allowed to give in Shul. You need an Eidos of a minion, or at the very least two. And if you don't have that, you don't say Vayichulu, or you could just say it as, as uh, Kari Batayra. In the home, they were masak in a different type of edos. The edos in shul, excuse me, the edos at home is the edos of, of even an eid echad, and there, and there, it's permitted to say edos even as 
an individual. What would they say about Nashim if Nashim are, are alone? They have a Lechaya Midoraisa to say Kiddush, right? So, but they're not Kosher Le'edim. So do they say Vayichulu? Um, do women give Edos? They're not Kosher Le'edos, right? Her not. So, uh, yeah, if do they the say Vayichulu? She say she she say Vayichulu, yeah. or is it just Karel and Torah? Yeah, they probably don't have the Sevei Chola. <laughs> maybe they leave the first part out. Should they, according to the Taz? But then it would come out that if they're in Shul Friday night, they don't say Vayi Because there it's an Eidos of two. That they have, they're, they're not, they're not um, in the gather of Eidos of two. So then it would come out they would only say Vayi in Kiddush. No. And not Vaikulu in, in Davening. I would venture to say most women don't know that and they say Vaikulu if they're in Shul. Well, I don't, most women don't come to Shul Friday night. That's possible. People who. That would, would that, if they do say, would that pass all of the Eidos since they're not kosher? Edus? No, because they're in a different room. No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what it pass all the Eidos? That's probably the least of our problems about all the people giving the Eidos, yeah. but... Um, well, you have Krovim there also. Okay. Rabbi Isai, there's another Gemara. The Gemara says... Amar of Chizda Amar Marukva, Kal Hamespalel be Erev Shabbos for Omer Vayichulu. Anyone who davens Friday night and says Vayichulu, Shnei Malachi Hashoris Hamalavin Loi LaAdam, the two heavenly angels that accompany a person, Manichin Yedeim Al Roshay, they put their hand on your head, for Omerim and they say, for Omerim Loi, the Sar Avoynech, your sins are removed, the Chatoscha Tchupar and your Chatoim are atoned for. That's Says the Gemara, if you say by a chulu Friday night, all your averas are wiped out. True every week. This be true every week. You should say by a chulu before you don't give up. Say every day. So the question is, we don't fast. Nice good. Why do we need this? So the Elia Rabbah says, my uh, grandfather told me, you may high time Amar Zikni Hagoyin Zichron of Racha. We say that Edim on a get, we tell them to be Mahar Batshuva, because the Rosh is Pasal Edos. Therefore, the Gemara says that it's not the Pshat if you say Vayichulu, then the Malachim come and wipe off your sins. It's if you're about to say Vayichulu, the Malachim wipe away your sins, so that you should be Kashal Edos. So this is very much in sync with the Chida. The Chida says you should be Mahar Batshuva. So I once heard from Rev Miller, and this works very well with what I heard from Rev Miller. Rev Miller said, wait a second over here. Vigdor Miller? Yeah, Rev Miller Miller, on Sechel Vacha. He writes in his book, Sing You Righteous. He says, look how great the moment of Sing by Chulu is. It's as great as Yom Kippur. It wipes away all your sin. But he says, since we paskin, the Yom Kippur only wipes away your sins if you do tshuva. L'chayr by Chulu could also only wipe away your sins if you do tshuva. So he says, you should talk about Mahar B'tshuva before you say by Chulu. So it comes out, that before you say Vayichulu, you be Mahar B'tshuva, the Malachim then come and wipe away your sins, and now you're Kosher La'edos, and now you can give testimony. You do Tshuva Shabbos? Why not? Yeah. Nothing was. It's okay. When you're saying Vayichulu, you're Kosher La'edos, you're Kosher La'edos, What? Right? You're only Kosher La'edos. You're Mahar B'tshuva, the Malachim come and wipe away your sins, and then you say Vayichulu. Oh, so you, uh, they come and wipe it before. That's what it sounds like from the, uh, yeah. By the way, the Masha also says. What? You don't have that much time to do that. Are you allowed to give Edus on Shabbos? Yeah. Yeah. This kind. By the way, the Tferes Shloimai of Radamsk he says in Parshat Kisaitse, Why do the Malachim wipe away your averos? The same thing. So if you did not avera and your pasul edos. Therefore, the Yermeichel, all the Averis. So says the Ben Yehoyada, why does the Gemara say they put their hand on your head? 
What, what's your head got to do with that? Well, you know, why they why they put their, their hands on their head? So he says the same idea that the Tzfar Shlomo says, Eli Rabba says that since in order to do since in order to say edos, um, you have to be kasha edos, and that's why the Chachamim Rishonim say you need to be mahar b'tshuva, so that you should be aroy edos. And we know what. How do you do tshuva? The Gemara says if a woman says. Um, if a man says to a woman, I will marry you on condition that I am a tzaddik Amar. Now we know this guy is a convicted felon. We know this guy is a roitzeach, a menoif, a ganav, a gazlan, dairaisa, derabonon, every avir in the world. What? But an aloch is mekudashes. Maybe he did tshuva. We maybe did tshuva. We're standing here, we tied up his arms, and the guy, you know, the guy is saying, you know, uh, every avir, every nivel in the world, maybe, maybe he did tshuva. Shema hir tshuva belibai. Maybe he thought doing tshuva. So we see to do tshuva, it's all in the head. So Malachi Ashar is put their hand on your head, on their head, Believe indicating right? that this individual. Here, so I once asked for Miller where the where the heart is. The lave. When the tar says lave, it means the, the brain. Yeah. Uva lave kol chacham lave nasati chachma. There's no chachma in the cardiac area. The chachma is over here. The tar refers to the head as the heart. So he says, "Kadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la edus so tshuva b'machshava ma'anya." Like it says, "Mekadesh shei roi la Hell, there's one problem. You came 250 years after George Washington. How in the world are you supposed to testify that he... Uh, that, what kind of testimony is that? You can't testify about, uh, about hearsay uh, information. You can only testify on something you saw. So here, but when we say Vayichalu, we're supposed to be testifying. That what? That Hashem created heaven and earth. One problem. You want to say, I believe it. You want to say, I have evidence. But, you know, how do you testify that you saw it? So Sefrektik Sam Soy for the Indian Bazaar. He say he saw it. Well, how do you give Eidos? I'm sorry, that we have. I have a Messiah that he was a murderer. Okay, very nice. Ki Hamashamir Shabbos. May it all call Ach ech ya ucha la hoed, ma shaloi ro isi velo ya dati. How could you tell something again? Uh-huh. I didn't say it, no. Omnum! Vishas yitzias mitzrayim. When we left mitzrayim, ro inu be aineno, we saw with our eyes, ki hu ha bore, that he's the creator. Hu ha chafetz, hu ha yachal. He's the one who could do, do what he wants. He has the ability. Im ken al yide yitzias mitzrayim, nasa aid al shabbos bereshis. Through the exodus of Egypt, we became witnesses to the creation of the world. You ever notice that in Kiddush we say, Zecher Lamase Bereshus, and Zecher Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. Well, make up your mind. You know, people are so tired, by the time they said Zecher Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, they forgot that three seconds ago they said it's Zecher Lamase Bereshus. But which one it is, is it? Is it Zecher Lamase Bereshus or it's Zecher Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim? So I want to bring to your attention what it says in the Aser Sadibrois in this week's parsha, as opposed to in Vashanan. In this week's parsha, it says, Keep Shabbos. Why? No, it doesn't say that. It says what? That's what it says in this week's parasha. Keep Shabbos, why? Because God created heaven and earth. And in the Lucha Shniyos, it says, Keep Shabbos, why? It says, It says, Shabbos. So in the second Debrois, it says, Keep Shabbos. To remember that Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim. So the Rambam and the Moran of Vuchim and the Ramban and Parshas Vashanan are bothered about this contradiction. What's the reason for Shabbos? So the Moran of Vuchim says like this, you have it on your sheet. 
Then Hashem says, Al came back Hashem says, God Sheyu. Why? To remember that Hashem created the world in six days. But in that du Chashniyos it says, Keep Shabbos to remember that we were servants of Mitzrayim. So how does Shabbos, by the way, how does Shabbos remind us that we were servants of Mitzrayim? Because we didn't come out of Mitzrayim. Because in Mitzrayim we worked all day long and we had no day of rest. So now that we have a day of rest, we remember that what are we resting from? We're we resting from the Malacha of Shabbos. So the, again, the Rambam says, we're, we're resting from the Malacha of Mitzrayim. The Rambam says, Shabbos is Zechel Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. It re- remembers that God created the world, but it also reminds us that we have a day of rest and we're no longer in servitude. And the Rambam, the Rambam says as follows, the Ramban says, "V'hinei b'Shabbos b'chlala shnei ta'amim." This is still the Ramban I'm talking. Shabbos has two parts to it: to believe that Hashem created the world, and to remember that we're His servants. Says Ramban, "What's the Ramban I'm talking about? When we rest and not do, we don't do malacha, how does that remind us of Yitzis Mitzrayim? We were never in Mitzrayim. In what way does resting on Shabbos remind us of, of Yitzis Mitzrayim? However," Says the Ramban, when we rest from work, we're reminded that God created the world in six days and He rested on the seventh day. The meaning is like this. Says Ramban, When God took us out of Mitzrayim and demonstrated, there was a God who preceded the world. Mechadesh, he innovated the world. Chafetz, he has ability. Viyachal, and he has power. Alkein Omar Bekan. Therefore, the Torah says like this: Im yale safek ala Shabbos. If you have any doubts about Shabbos, which prove that God has three abilities. In other words, testimony that God created the world is first of all testimony that it, the creation ex nihilo, that He innovated it, that he has desire and to do what he wants, and he has the ability. So, if you have any questions about that, Tizgar Mash Aro Einecha Biyitzias Mitzrayim Shehi Lechal Laraya Ulazecha. Then you should remember that God took you out of Egypt, and that will serve as proof that He created the world, because Yitzias Mitzrayim demonstrated that God stepped in and was able to control all the forces of nature. The Ramban writes at the end of Parshas Boy that the Mitzrim, some of them did not believe that, that there was a creation. Some of them believe there was a creation and God doesn't have Yidiya. Some of them believe that God has Yidiya but He does not have Yechoylas. And Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim showed that if God could take all the forces of nature and bring them back to, to oblivion, destroy them, change them, override them, supersede them, that demonstrates Chidosh HaOlam, that demonstrates God's Yediya, His Hashgach HaPratis, and His Yichoylas. The Ramban therefore says that Shabbos is Zecher L'Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, and Yitzhiyas, because Shabbos and Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim both demonstrate the same phenomenon. So Shabbos is Zecher L'Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, and Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim is Zecher L'Shabbos. Ki Yizkeru Bai, V'yoyimru HaShem Hu Mechadish B'chol Oisai Samoivsim V'oisai B'chol Kertzoinai. He must, how was he able to do? How could God override the whole system? That's clear evidence he created the system. Only somebody who, who has the ability to make such a system could supersede it and override it. That's why by the Lucha Shniyos, it says, Interesting that Tzvar Hamar writes in Parshas Vo'ira, Parak Tes, Pasuk Chav Tes, and the Maral speaks about this, and the Rabbi Yitzhak Isaac Chavar, that Paroi did not believe in creation of the world, and more specifically, the Asara Mamara Yishinivra Oilam. What was the first Maimar of creation? Mm-hmm. Barashas, Bar Aleikim, the Gemara says in Rosh Hashanah, Barashas, Nami Maimar Ho. So God says, you don't believe I control Rashas? Then all your firstborn are going to die. You don't believe in the first Amira of, of creation? Maka number 10. Your firstborn will die. 
What's the second Amira? You don't believe that I created the light? We'll turn the lights off. Number three, and the Mepharshim go through that the ten Makkahs were basically a recreation of the world, demonstrating God's absolute control over those ten manifestations of His abilities. So, in effect, testimony to Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, which our ancestors did see, and there's a concept that we were all there, that is, you have to say, more than circumstantial evidence that God created the world, but that's considered Atem Reisem, or like the Navi says, Atem Eida, you are my witnesses. So, says the Ramban, and this is what the Chassam Sefer means, we are able to give testimony on the creation of the world, Based on the fact that um, Shabbos is not only Zecher Lemaisa Rishis, but it's also Zecher Litzis Mitzrayim. So then it comes out that there are two levels of testimony given. There's a level of testimony in the Shul, which Lachachila should be done with a minion, at the very least two people. And according to the Taz, if you don't have two people, then you don't say it, or you just say it Kakari Batayra. But there's another dimension of testimony that uh, we give in Kiddush, which even though not everybody agrees to, the Avodraham questions it, and the Prima Godim questions it, but the, um, the Chida says one should be Mahar B'tshuva even in Kiddush, and the source of it is the Zayar, and even the Ramam says there's an Indian to stand for Vayichu, so apparently there's another level of testimony that is given, a level of Eirecha Neman B'Yisurim, and uh, b- by doing this, first of all we get the benefit, that when Mahar B'tshuva and the Tumalachim put their hands on our heads, and uh, but, but if we gave Adas with a minion in shul, yeah, then why do we have to give Adas twenty minutes later? Answer is sometimes you know I come home much longer than twenty minutes later until everybody you know finished. It takes an hour later. Who could remember by the time you get home? No, but really, why do you need Adas? It sounds like there's Adas as uh, one get there's Adas of the tzibor, and one is Adas of the yachid. Apparently both are needed. Rabbi Isai, Agon Shabbos. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.